Let's move on to the Cavaliers. <laughs> they have a new coach. Former Michigan head coach John Beeline will join Cleveland on a five-year deal, according to our own Adrian Morjanowski. Beeline becomes the third Cavs coach since the start of last season. Let's take a look at his resume. He'd been with the Wolverines since 2007, made two national title appearances in his time there. What do you think, Mr. Former Cleveland Cavalier? Uh, look, it, I, I think they have a young team, and I think they're going to get a top five pick. So if they want a guy that can develop talent and he's brought in guys into this league, I think it's great. Is he the coach at, I think, 66 years old? I don't think that he's the guy for the future, and that's not a disrespect, but this is an interim job for him to develop young guys. Well, I mean, I, I think it's a surprising hire. I, right. I, I didn't think that they really shopped out much to put this job out on the market. So this is something that was already premeditated. So hopefully he's a good fit for him. As Richard said, this is a very young team. And yeah. Right now, they're just fishing for anything that can come out good out of play. <laughs> I mean, they did talk to a bunch of assistant coaches around the league. They did some in interviews like that. Dan Gilbert, obviously a great affinity for Michigan, got his Michigan man, so yeah. we'll see uh, how that works out. Really depends on where that draft pick falls. I'll see. Mm -hmm. yeah, While I'll we are talking see. about coaching hires, the Lakers have reached a three-year deal with Frank Vogel to be their <laughs> <laughs> well, like reporting the length of term there. Vogel made back-to-back -back conference finals appearances as Pacers head coach in 2013 and 14, of course, who beat him in those conference finals. Yeah, Bron. There we go. He also agreed to let Jason Kidd be part of his coaching staff, which was reportedly a point of contention in the Lakers' talks with Ty Lu. You might recall Jason Kidd saying on this show he would like to coach the Lakers. So, Scotty, what do you think of... Vogel saying okay to Jason being on his staff when Jason's made it clear he actually wanted that job. Well, I take my hat off to Jason Kidd as, as well. Mm -hmm. um, he's taking a back seat. Yep. But I, I think this is going to work out great for the Lakers. Uh, you got two pretty, uh, pretty much young coaches, uh, great experience, and have an opportunity to help some players that have some great upside in his game. And there's no one in this league that wouldn't want Jason Kidd alone on their staff. Yeah, and look, I, I think both of them combined bring everything that they need. You got the X's and O's. I think Jay Kidd is a great development guy. He's got a great relationship in the locker room. But at the end of the day, when people want to know, how did Frank Vogel become the coach? Well, the Lakers, they showed up with less than market value, less years, and they want to control of your staff, right? So you don't walk onto a Mercedes-Benz lot <laughs> and, with Honda Accord money, right? <laughs> with a Honda Accord stuff. Because they're like, no one's going to look at you. So when they're like, how on earth is Frank Vogel going to be the head coach and it's like well they were he was able to say yes to everything that the Lakers wanted right three years less money and we want control of your staff not many great great coaches would allow that now I really like Frank Vogel personally yes. I think that he's going to have a good demeanor around the team and Honda Accords are very reliable thank you very much yes. Richard Jefferson that I love said, a good Honda I'm just saying well, you can't said, buy a Mercedes well, with it. well okay so that being said these are the Lakers, oh, look at right? This. They print money off their local TV deal. Yes, they, they are do. premier franchise. Why were they walking on the lot with Honda Accord money? Well, I just don't think that they have too many cooks in the kitchen right now. I think that's the problem. And you so, saw that chart. Yeah, you saw that chart. There's too many cooks in the kitchen, and, and it's not. I, I think Frank Vogel's going to do a good job. I think Jason Kidd, them combined, mm. are going to do a great job. But even T. T Lou was okay with having Jason Kidd, but don't make me a three-year interim coach. Right. Give me my five-year market value. That was the issue, and they weren't willing to do that. I mean, that's what we saw from Cleveland, right? Mm -hmm. They gave uh, Beeline a five-year deal, and Ty walks in and says, hey, I want a title with you guys as a player. I want a title uh, somewhere else as a head coach. A great resume. I have a you know, great X's and O's resume. But they gave a 66-year-old a five-year deal. 